head coach of the Southern Regional Rams boys team, Eric Fierro. Good morning, Coach. How are you? Doing great, Dave. How are you? Thanks for having me on. No problem. Thanks for joining us, Coach. Um, let's just jump right into some uh, high school basketball talk here. Always great talking some hoops with area coaches. Uh, your record, a little deceiving, 3-3 three and three so far, but you, you had some pretty big wins over uh, St. John Vianney and Holy Spirit in the uh, score at the Shore tournament, handed Holy Spirit right. their I'm, first actually, loss. Uh, I'm trying to get that NJ.com correct. We're 2-3. 2-3? and, three. Two and three? Right now okay. we've played five games so we defeated Holy Spirit and Abgami in oh, okay. our score at the short tournament here at Southern. Gotcha. Two two yeah. pretty big wins, and uh, you know your losses uh, only only three points each to uh, Wildwood Catholic and, and Brick Township, uh, and, and as we know, Wildwood Catholic has been putting up about ninety points a game. All right, that was a really exciting game on opening night down in Ocean City. You know, we're excited to get the opportunity to play in the tip off classic again, and uh, that was a toss up game. Could have went either way. You know, in the last couple minutes, they a couple bounces went wild with Catholic's way, and we came up on the short end of that. But certainly an exciting game for us to open up the season with against one of South Jersey's best. Uh, I, I caught your game against Holy Spirit up there at the score at the Shore Tournament, and a real nice win for you guys. That, that's a pretty solid program uh, and a good team here in the uh, Cape Atlantic League uh, down this way. Uh, talk about that game a little bit and, uh, and how you guys are, are coming along. You know, outstanding coach team with a lot of talent. You know, and as you mentioned, they're withstanding and battling some early season injuries. So you know, we were lucky to play them without, you know, C.J. Barnes, their, their starting point guard. Uh, we love playing in our home gym and having our, our score to short tournament up at Southern. So uh, our little home advantage and you know, some motivation to get our second win and get to the finals of our tournament. You know, our guys played really well you know, that night against a talented Holy Spirit team. You got a, a pretty interesting team, uh, Peyton. Uh, is it Weiner? Is that how you say his last name? Weiner. Yes, Weiner, sir. okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Here's a kid who's uh, about six six, going to be going to Pace University, and surrounding him, you just got a lot of scrappers, a lot of a lot of little guards who who get after it on the defensive end, can hit yeah. the three pointer. Uh, kind of an interesting mm-hmm. lineup you got there. Well, uh, our senior guard Ethan Dubois has been a three year starter for us, you know, and he's a, a do it all point guard who's worked tremendously hard on his game. You know, he's got a tremendous handle, tremendous floor vision. He led the short conference and assists last season. So with those two coming back, you know, the, the excitement of the of the other guys, you know, on our team to kind of fill those roles and those other spots around Peyton and, and, and Ethan, you know, the guys have had tremendous off seasons. Mark Ballarani uh, came out and he had an excellent game against Wildwood Catholic on opening night. He hit six threes in the first half and really ignited us, ignited our season. Um, two seniors, Scott Clayton and John Kaiser, you know, are those are the role players for us. They're they're excited to defend the other team's best player. They're excited to do all the little things to kind of carry on the tradition and, and hopefully put another 10, 15, 20 win season you know on our resume. That was a really neat matchup uh seeing Weiner against Tyler Jones from Holy Spirit. Uh kind of two guys who are very similar around the basket and and like to get inside and get to work on the inside. Uh that had been fun watching that. Yeah, uh, Tyler's an outstanding player, man, a guy that can, you know, catch and shoot player. And when he gets going, you know, really tough to stop off the dribble and a presence inside the paint. Uh, so it was, it was awesome to see those two go at it. How, how impressed were you with Dante Daniel? You know, he he's kind of a, a kid who's a football player at Holy Spirit and uh, kind of coming into his own as a basketball player. And that was a tough matchup for you guys. Yeah, he's a unique athlete and a unique player. He hit big shots and really came alive in the fourth quarter. You know, we built up a double-digit lead, and they came rolling back. And he was one of their big reasons with his energy and his leadership. So, like I said, top to bottom, just you know, Coach Gillespie does an outstanding job with the, with their program and you know, battling against Whitewood Catholic and against Holy Spirit. And you're interesting. You guys were talking about the divide in football and wrestling between public and private. Mm-hmm. You know, I hope that doesn't happen in basketball. We look forward to playing. You know, teams that get players from all over different areas, and we take pride in saying, "Hey, we're just a bunch of guys from you know, Manahawkin, Ware Town, <laughs> Long Beach Islands, and we're going to stick together, and we'll play anybody, anywhere, you know, anytime, you know, up and down the state. We, we've proven that. We played Wildwood Catholic already. We played Bergen Catholic in the final of our tournament. We started our preseason down in the Bahamas in a you know a little preseason tournament down there. So. Our goal is to you know play the best and be ready to play the best. The end of our last three seasons, we've uh, faced Atlantic City in the quarterfinals at Atlantic City. 
So as a coach, you know, I have to prepare my team for what they're going to face at the end of the season. So to me, we want to play really tough competition throughout December, January. And as Mike was saying, Mike McGarry before, that these are the games that decide where you're going to be in your divisional tournaments. We play in the short conference tournament. Right. You know, uh, Cape Atlantic League has their tournament. And then the state tournament. It's only the first 16 games that get counted PowerPoint-wise towards your placement in the state. So... You know, it's on right now. <laughs> We're talking to uh, Coach Eric Fierro of the Southern Regional Boys Basketball Team. Uh, Coach, what was that like going to the Bahamas with about uh, 15 teenagers? Uh, it was, <laughs> it was it, you know, it, an exciting trip. We'll leave it at that. You know, I think I took my first breath when everybody was picked up and kind of going home after the five days. But uh, an, an outstanding time. Uh, KSA does a tremendous time of, of getting everything set for us down in Atlantis and, you know, uh, the ex- life experiences that we have or, you know, that we took away from that trip were just unbelievable. So yeah, something you, we'll never forget. And, su- such a tough thing as, as a coach because you want to do these special things. You know, I know uh, teams like the mainland field hockey team, they go to Disney. A lot of these baseball yeah. teams, they go down to Florida and South Carolina and all stuff. And, and it can really build up your program a lot and get a lot of interest going. But by the same token, mm-hmm. you know, you're talking about 16-, 17-year-old kids away from home. Yeah. You have, you have to be so diligent in, in their behavior, you know, and you're seeing even at the college level, you know, Trevon Boykin now suspended for the Alamo Bowl, you know, getting in some trouble. How tough is that as a coach? You know, you want to do all these great things, but you really have to be diligent with these kids. Like you said, they're 16, 17 year old kids away from home, uh, you know, in a, in a paradise island. I mean, there's a lot that can go wrong there. How, how tough is that to kind of keep everybody on the, on the right track? It's a delicate balance, but it goes back to me, the building the relationships up with these guys. In, uh, I'm a three-sport coach here at Southern, and uh, you know, I spent a lot of time throughout you know, the, in our summer program you know, building relationships up with our players and throughout our season. So I wouldn't bring a young man you know, anywhere that, that I don't really trust and I don't know his family really well. I mean, you know, times have changed. There's no longer the kind of the separation between coach and parents. And you know, Southern Regional, our basketball program, our parents' association is working really hard. Our alumni association is working really hard as well as our, you know, the members of the team and the coaches to, to help build our program. So to answer you, it's, it's a strong relationship before you get on that plane to go down to a, to a place like that to build up a lot of trust and belief that the guys understand how the opportunity, how lucky they are to have an opportunity like that. And, you know, the coaches have built up a trust and relationship with those players and those parents. So going down there, that's kind of taken care of. Was your speech prior to going down there anything like Herm Edwards? <laughs> no no absolutely not you know you know like i said i trust all my guys and have an awesome relationship with them so all that stuff is taken care of <laughs> yeah it's a great speech I, i'm sure everybody's seen that you know going through facebook and twitter and all that stuff uh, i guess he was talking to the the uh all-american high school players uh before right. one of their one of their uh uh postseason games but um yeah it's really a tough thing when you're dealing with high school kids to to keep them on track uh, what do you focus on here, here in January? Yeah, it definitely is. What do you focus here on January? You kind of got December out of the way. You, you see who's who. Uh, you're kind of getting your guys into that basketball shape. Um, what's what's the challenge here going the next four to, four to six weeks? It's just, you know, we call it the kind of the grind of, of January where you're back to school. There's no longer that holiday to break to look forward to. Uh, you know, it's your it's our A South and it's our divisional season where we're going to have tough home games, tough road games, regardless of a team's record or how they've fared so far going through the season. We know that if we go on the road in A South or a team comes down to Southern in A South, whether it's Towns River North, whether it's Brick, whether it's Jackson, whether it's Brick Memorial, it's going to be a four quarter game. It's going to be a four quarter fight. We have to be mentally ready to take the floor. You know, every team is well coached, every play is well scouted, and also every practice we have to resharpen and sharpen our our fundamentals our x's and o's to be ready to take the floor and to win you know we've we've come up short in our division the last couple of years been in second place and it's even though we've defeated the first place team the last three or four seasons so it hasn't been our ability to play against the top quality opponents it's been our ability to maintain focus and to and to beat you know everybody night in and night out and that's kind of what we're focused on in january Talking with uh, head coach Eric Fierro, Southern Regional Boys Basketball Team. Coach, before I let you go, uh, something interesting I, I've been seeing, and I've seen this from from a, a variation of coaches, uh, particularly Coach Brian Coyle, new head coach for the Absagami Girls Team. 
using Twitter and social media a lot to kind of pump up his players, give them little sort of inspirational messages. Uh, how much are you into the social media, and, and yeah. do, you, do you kind of have to be as a head coach in this day and age? Well, our, our athletic director, Chuck Donahue Jr., got me going on Twitter about <laughs> three or four years ago, and it's it's an unbelievable resource for a basketball coach. I mean, I, you know, I have to explain it to parents because, again, there's this kind of stigma with social media that it's you know an evil tool or something that is going to distract students or you know to me it's a place where i can disseminate all sorts of important information regarding our program regarding basketball fundamentals regarding you know, i'll put videos of drills that we're going to do during the season or you know retweet a highlight of a play that i want to reference a practice the next day and it gives me the ability to communicate with our guys and you know, like you say if you tag a player and uh you know, next to a to a quote from a famous NBA guy, and you know they retweet it, and you know now there's that extra layer of connection, and it's it's an amazing positive vehicle for me and my players to be on the same page and stay connected more often than we normally could during a you know the two or three hours that we're together during the day. That's so, cool. uh, and the connections I've made throughout the country and throughout the world with other basketball coaches just from being on social media, going to a coaching clinic, uh, hooking up with some guys from, from all over the, you know, another state and you know, all another country from Canada, some coaches I've met, and we'll just chop up X's and O's and talk hoops and all over, you know, a guy that, you know, retweeted my tweet on playing hard and, you know, we had a conversation and it goes from there. So the connections that you make on, you know, that I've been able to make on social media and the, the way it's able to keep our team connected is something that, that we, we utilize a lot. That's a great thing about hoops, man. Hoops, hoops coaches, they love talking hoops all day long. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> we, day to talk hoops. we got a roll here, Coach. I appreciate you joining us, and uh, we'll catch up with you later in the season. Awesome. Pleasure to be on, Dave. Have a great day. No problem. Thanks, Coach. Bye-bye. That was Coach Eric Fierro, the Southern Regional Boys basketball team.